Orders to assassinate Confederate President Jefferson Davis are found on the body of Union Colonel Ulrich Dahlgren. The rebels copy the orders and send them north to the Union generals, demanding an explanation. But the dead man's father, Admiral Dahlgren, spots a problem with the document. Two key letters are in the wrong place. There's a misspelling of Dahlgren's name, which, of course, his father John used to say that these orders were fake. I personally have experienced so many times where people have tried to spell my name, and they put the L in front of the H. If the signature is in question, the entire document is in question. Are they real, or are they forged by the Confederate government and used as a propaganda tool? Kevin is meeting Beverly East, a leading handwriting expert who has testified on document authenticity in court. For comparison, he's given her a copy of the orders and also Dahlgren's last letter to his father. The biggest misconception about what we do is that we only look at letters. But there is so much more in examining comparisons. So in this letter F, it's formed fully with a loop at the top and a loop at the bottom. But the ink deposit is on the left side. So if I look for an F on this side, the ink is on the left side. That would be almost impossible for somebody to replicate. <laughs> Um, because it's how the ink sits when you write. If we look at the T's, to have one, two, three, four, five different forms of T's, and then to create four, those four exactly the same here, that would be painstakingly hard. What about the signature in, in the aftermath? Uh, his father, John, claimed that a piece of these orders were forged because of the misspelling, the misspelling. of the, the last name Dahlgren. Not having a name spelt correctly is a big red flag. But Beverly has an explanation. There had been writing on both sides of the thin paper. Dahlgren had signed his name, but the letter Y had bled through from the other side, making the L in Dahlgren look like an H. The copies had been made with an early technology called a lithograph. The technician, in cleaning up the copy, had likely mistaken the L for an H transposing the originals and giving birth to a mystery. The misspelling was created when the document was reproduced. The other letters in the signature are perfect. But I'm looking also at formation and movement, and it would be difficult for someone to get the same movement and the same formation, the same pattern construction. So what is your expert opinion as to the nature of these documents? Is, is it real? It, absolutely 100% real. Written by Ulrich Dahlgren. Written same by Ulrich. Person. Same person, same authorship of both documents, without a doubt. Without a doubt. 